hard to steal scenes from the hilarious Amy Schumer, but Sass Goldberg does just that in the new Hulu series Life and Beth. She plays Jess, one of Beth's high school friends who seems to live life vicariously through her single city living life. Take a look. You ladies are looking for trouble tonight. I can feel it. <laughs> All right, behave yourselves. We're too old to be here, right? I think yeah. our rack is still open. I should definitely get it, right? Mm -hmm. And Sass joins us now. Welcome. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. You play Jess, I uh, do. one of Beth's high school friends. Tell us about your character in this group of friends. Sure. Um, I mean, Life and Beth is about a woman coming home to Long Island and reconnecting with old friendships. And I play one of those old friends from high school. And we really wanted to make sure that it felt like an honest and true group of friends and people who've known each other for a long time and have had experiences that, as they've grown, they've like get a chance to reinvest in each each other again. Do you know people like Jess in real life? I know a lot of Jess. In real life. <laughs> I know. I grew up in New York City, but I love Long Island. Yeah. My husband's from New Jersey. I love New Jersey. They're, well, hey, Jersey, here. Long Jersey. Island. Oh, I love it. You guys have better Long Island's better bagels. Jersey's better Italian food. Mm -hmm. And then we can form our own friend group. We have our own Jess. Right, there we go. Here we are. Um, you know, it's such a sweet and kind of emotional show. So how did you get involved in the whole thing? Yeah. Were you friends with Amy beforehand? I, I, no, I did not know Amy beforehand. I auditioned like a real live actress. <laughs> and uh, I, I actually auditioned for the part pre-pandemic in 2019 and I was pregnant at the time and I wasn't sure as like it was getting closer I wasn't sure if it was gonna be able to happen because it was directly up against my due date and then um, obviously we know what, and what then transpired. Here you are. Yeah. Well, and so now we know that you've been re renewed for a second season. We have Do you been. know anything I about know it? I know nothing you're finding. You're, you'll be <laughs> knowing information. L let us know. We're excited. Well, you're, you're back in the theater starring in Which Way to the Stage, which also is about a group of friends. What can you tell us about the show? Okay. So Which Way to the Stage is uh, about two friends, Jeff and Judy, who are outside the stage door of If Then the Musical in 2015, mm -hmm. waiting for the star's autograph. Um, and a lot of the scenes do take place outside the Richard Rogers Theater. And as the course of the play goes on, their friendship is forever changed. Um, but it's been a really special piece. And it does sound very much like for theater lovers, but it's for more than just that. You can come knowing theater, but you also leave learning a lot about these people. The story of how this whole show came to came about is kind of crazy. Yeah. You were at brunch with your friends it talking was. about your love of Adina Menzel. Yes, I was at brunch with mm -hmm. friends and one of the, the playwright, uh, Ana Nogueira, who is a genius, and we were talking about Adina Menzel, and she kind of went quiet for a second, and she's like, uh, I have a play. I know what this play is. And we were like, uh, LOL, <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Where are our eggs? And then cut to, <laughs> she wrote it. She That's really incredible. Did. Now, this show is part of MCC Theater's reopening, and you've performed there before in other yeah. projects. Yeah. As a New Yorker, how does it feel for you to see the city coming back to life? I mean, the the, th the city's always been, I've been, I, I was here through the entire pandemic, so I never left. I'm a New Yorker at heart. I love this city. Um, and so it's just, I, I hope people come to the theater, come to the theater, coming to the theater is about, come, come to the theater, come join us, come. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you're, you do a lot of things, Seth, but you're also a writer and producer on some of some of the greatest shows on TV right now, greatest. like Shrink Next Door, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I mean, these are major. Yeah. What comes more naturally to you, being in front of the camera or behind? I actually really like both, and I know that's probably sort of a lame answer, but I like to have I, I like doing not the same thing day in and day out. So it's I like putting on one hat and then taking that hat off and putting on a different hat at a different time. I would always think originally that I wanted to act, but when I started writing, I really love it equally. Well, I mean, uh, we'll talk about all the hats you wear. Let's talk about another one as co-owner of Name Glow, which I got to do a piece on a few years back. Insane. We came down to visit. <laughs> Tell me what people can find there for those who don't yeah, know. Yeah, uh, Name Glow is a neon design studio uh, located on the Lower East Side of Manhattan, and I own it with my, that's my co-founder right there, Lena Imamura. And uh, you can make your own neon. You can buy some of our already design work. And so it's like a, a lifestyle, home, home place, home goods. It is such a cool spot. I loved it. Thank you. And we love you and everything that you're doing. We hope that people come see the play. Me too. And you can see Life and Best streaming on Hulu and catch Which Way to the Stage at the MCC Theater now through May 22nd. For tickets, visit mcctheater.com. Sass, thanks so much for coming thanks by. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here.